wrong, but don't run it so long. You feel me? Don't run your ideas so long. They, you know, I'm giving them 30 minutes of game. I got years of game. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? I'm getting up 30 minutes, man. You know, this is what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I'm just talking about the setup. Like if you got somebody with you at the time doing the video, not when you by yourself. People don't have the same understanding as me, man. I'm gonna let people do whatever they want on video. And then they gonna watch it and come back and then they gonna understand. I'm offering understanding and yeah, perspective. No, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not disputing that. What I'm saying is what you talking about, let like Stretch on what you talking about. Like t say 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 a little something, get to a point, let let them elaborate a little bit, then you jump back into your next thing, yeah. and then let them fall in a little bit, expand yeah. it in. You know, Definitely. that's all Definitely. I'm saying. Definitely, that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna let people explain, expand, get their perspective, and then let's go. 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 let us go let us go and understanding that life is bigger than just going to work and making a check. You can be big. It's bigger than that office building. You can be big, bro. You can own some shit. People can just pay you while you're asleep. It's not just a slogan. You wonder why they say that? Because it's true. The nigga that invented gambling, you know what he said? Gambling is for suckers. The house always wins. You can go 20 years gambling before you gain that understanding. Or you could take what he said literally. I don't want to be a fucking sucker, so I'm not going to gamble my money away. Because the house always wins. The nigga that invented this shit told me that. Why would I not take that knowledge and apply it? Majority of people going to just say, he don't know what the fuck he talking about. I just hit at the game room the other day. Gain some understanding. Seek some knowledge, man. That's Wisdom is the true gold, man. You know what I'm saying? If you could think like a thousand different people, You'll be a powerful mind. Fuck how much money you got. You can make $150,000 and be broke as hell. Don't, don't have a perspective of, of a thousand people. You don't have that perspective. You just have your perspective. Because you're not seeking knowledge. You're a robot. Yeah, you can make a bunch of money, but you don't know what to do with it. You talk about generational wealth, but you haven't researched it. What kind of name more down here too? Uh, what do you think about the um, transfer of wealth? What do you What do you think when, you, when I say transfer of wealth? Like, grab this chair, bro. You jump over there. Are you Are you, are you talking about transfer of wealth to like? I, I want to know what you shit, think when I say transfer of wealth. When you say transfer of wealth, you talking about a longevity of wealth? Transfer. It could be transfer. Are you talking about transfer? To a well, recently in the news and family. shit, they've been saying that you know it's a new world order coming. In yeah. a transfer of wealth, people are going to become rich. That's why a lot of people have been buying crypto probably, and shit it's like, like that. It's probably going to be more of a sense of the dollars and indents as, as in paper. Because that's, the, the that's, dollar that's what they're stopping is. In, yeah, the dollar's in there. Yeah, yeah. We, so we, I mean that we make our own currencies. All right, let me stop you real quick. I want to give, I want to give my viewers just a little bit of game. What he said was, you know, it's going to be the end of the money. Think business. We understand. Money is just a, the top, top layer. Yep. It's just a top layer. So it's really not about money. That would be the distraction that they're going to give to everybody. You feel what I'm saying? The real transfer of wealth is the transfer of knowledge. Wisdom is the real wealth. If we don't have no books, we don't have no videos of 1920. Some books exist. A few videos exist. That's the perspective we have. That's all we have to go off of. That's history. These days, nobody's going to pick up a book and read. Nobody going to do that. Nobody going to, damn, they're not going to research. All they do is watch videos and listen to listen mm -hmm. to stuff. Podcasts and stuff like that. So we have to give our perspective because this is going to be part of history. 20 years from now, the shit that's happening now, the way we feeling during the pandemic and all this shit ain't going to mean nothing if we don't record it because people ain't going to know. They're not gonna read a book. You know what I'm saying? It's only so many perspectives you can gain. Gain as many perspectives as you can. That's why podcasts is, is so popular because you gain the perspective of three people instead of just me. You can you can rationalize and understand. Critique. Everybody got a different perspective. Critique all of ours. 
and come up with your own. You know what I'm saying? What do you say transfer wealth to though? Transfer wealth is a transfer of knowledge. You know, 20 transfer. years from now, this is going to be worth gold. Even things with the, uh, maybe paying attention to, uh, my friend Jukes, the former, that they've been having, you know, they've been having more, uh, how the mixes on fruits and vegetables stuff. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna come to an age when that's gonna be it, it, It's just like the great the great depression. Mm -hmm. And then like once the and then thing. once the vegetables is gone or whatever the problem may be, yep. what are they gonna search with? Video. They're gonna search with video. The knowledge is no longer gonna be we're not gonna be looking for books no more. People gonna take everything out of a book and put it on video. That's what's currently happening. People is taking every, all the knowledge they can think of and putting it into video yeah. format yeah. because this is the new way people learn. This is why kids hold a tablet yeah. in their hand yeah. all day long. Yeah. All day long. People are getting better at relaying so much different knowledge. This might not be something for somebody that's looking for understanding, but this might be for somebody that's looking for how to grow, how to, you know what I'm saying? They might use this a different way. Content is powerful. This is. This is knowledge, man. We're giving it to you. We ain't gonna hold it back. That's a free game. When we turn the camera off, we, if we say something live, we're gonna turn the camera right back on. <laughs> we're not gonna spread, spread this shit for y'all because it's only so many people that's gonna be able to tell you their perspective. In the next 30 years, it'll be like you're giving out free game. I'm gonna always give out this game, and, man. And the thing is, see, I'm gonna always give it out. That's, that's the thing with today's society. You know, in the 90s. I motivate. And then back then, you couldn't I motivate push. people. People will tell you, but it was only so a certain amount that they knew. You know what I mean? You know, it's it's like you grew up in this neighborhood, you go to community college, whatever, and you still stay in the neighborhood, you work a job, but you only want to remember the certain knowledge that you were taught. Right. Right. So now that the world is more expandable, you get. You How many times it. have you been on video like this? Uh, never. Twenty, I never, 20 I never, years. I never, from, I never, you say you're 28. Yeah, I, I I I ain't never did no uh podcast. Right. And you're 28. 28. 20 years from now, I got that footage. Yeah, yo. You gonna be hitting me up, hey man, you still got that video that we did? And then you gonna be able to give other people your, this is how I was thinking back then? Oh, that's crazy. It's it's this the shit I was talking about like back that. then? Oh, that's crazy. His brother filmed the video, he, he wrote out a little movie script for when we were young. Mm -hmm. Me, him, and my brother. How short of the film. I'm and doing this for my son. Give my son good game every day. He like four, four, five, he like five, six maybe at that time. Like four, five, you know, on like, Never leave your seat. Sorry, I'm mad. Hey, get into that streaming shit too, though. That's money too, bro. That's that's another thing that's that's taking over the sense because yeah, streaming my, period. Streaming, Content. I don't care if you, Content. If you're just streaming, you playing video games or. Content. You know what content is? It's just something you upload onto a computer. computer. Yep. That's all it is. That's all it is. And that's how easy. And that's where everybody's mind is. It. It's on the computer. On the phone. That's a that's a computer. Everybody got a phone in their pocket. That's a computer, bro. Yeah. That's a man. That's a hand. And think about world. this: twenty years right now, it might be say, for instance, right now is how many people in the world? Shit, a couple billion. Couple no, billion. Just, let's just say I don't know. It's six probably, billion. It's probably yeah, six over. Billion. It's probably six, over six billion. We just now. nine billion. Because it's they, nine billion people in the world, right? We only going off of what that's right. counted on there. So, but if we really count, if what I'm saying is right, and this is history. In a hundred years from now, yeah, 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 when people yeah, is looking for video of people in 2024, it might be 30 billion people. What do you think a billion people in America? It might be 30 billion people. What if they get a hold of this video? They counting this shit. This, this is what they counting. You know what I'm saying? This is a business. This is every every person that you interact with is a is a customer, is a client. We don't watch TV no more. We watch YouTube channels. Add me to your channels. I'm gonna be here forever. Real shit. This is history, man. You're gonna have a question one day and you're gonna come back, you're gonna be like, that nigga D Miller, at least he got content. These other niggas just talking about back in the day. D Miller actually got video of back in the day. This shit is platinum, man. Can't nobody go back and recreate this shit. You just said a bunch of player shit, but didn't nobody hear that shit? Didn't nobody catch nothing from it? People catch game from me all day long, man. I'm leaving stains on brains worldwide, man. You gotta understand who you're talking to. I got a different understanding. I done been there. I drove trucks. I done been to all the states. I done been to all these places. I done talked to people. I can touch down and I'm good. 
I got a different understanding. You tell me about a place, you talk to me about a place that you visited, I got a way different understanding than you. I've been there 50 times. You're talking to me about your trip to Denver, I've been there 50 times. You're talking to me about your trip about Atlanta, I've been there 50 times. You feel what I'm saying? My, my, my perspective is different, so I'm gonna give it to you. You feel what I'm saying? Travel around the world, man, leaving stains on brains, bro. I motivate people. I see the motherfucking potential in you. I can help you. That's what I'm here for. I can help you. I see the potential in you, bro. That's why I would even stop and I'm a real nigga. I don't, I, I, I ain't never hate it. I ain't never hate it. I motivate. I want to see you do better, man. You can do it, man. You didn't, you just sit around knowing that you can do better, but you don't know how to get to the mindset that's going to allow you to be better. I used to think negative all the time. You don't know. I read a hundred books on self-help and finance and mindset. Hundred books. My perspective, my perspective is different. I believe it, believe it. You just heard it. You feel what I'm saying? You just think it. I understand it. I understand the mindset. I changed my whole mindset. In process, I changed my whole environment. In process, I changed my whole perspective. Perspective is powerful. You might not never had this perspective. I'm giving it to you though. So now you got it. Now you got it. I'm not just gonna walk around life helping people and not lead and not record this, man. This is gold, bro. This is gold. I'm gonna talk to people and I'm gonna give them understanding, bro. A deeper understanding, bro. A motherfucker tell me, bro, I'm trying to get a car, bro. And I'm just listening, listening, listening. And a lot of people have heard it and I've helped them. A lot of people have watched me on social media and done what I've done or done what I've told them and it helped them. But I don't know that because they probably never left a comment, never said nothing, never acknowledged it, never acted like they never, you know, that's how they, that's my experience on social media. Motherfucker, like I don't exist, but they watch it, but they're still, they're copying. You feel what I'm saying? I go do something and I'm seeing it's a trend now. I say something, it's a trend now. So I know I have influence. You know what I'm saying? I just got to put this shit on video. So, you know what I'm saying? And YouTube gonna count this shit. And 20 years from now, we gonna remember this shit. I, the kid that did, D. Miller. The kid that did. I'm not content. Fuck a job. Fuck working. Fuck a house if it ain't paying you no money. I don't want a house, I want two houses. The second house gonna pay for the first house. I think different. You want a new car? I've been had new cars, man. It's going on 10 years now. I ain't, we not flexing, but it's going on 10 years now. It's all I drive, new, brand new. You feel me? I'm past that. I'm past that, man. We gotta think big. We gotta think longevity. We not just gonna talk motherfucking financial wealth, financial health and all this extra stuff and not have no understanding about that shit, bro. It start with the mindset. The mindset is powerful. Understanding, discipline. These are things you need to achieve. Don't just, you know what I'm saying? Talk about what you want. Implement discipline in something. Go to the gym. That's what I do. I'm trying. I'm trying to make progress. I'm not trying to stay the same. I do the shit I know motherfuckers ain't gonna wanna do. I ask them motherfucker, what do you think about this? And they be like, I never do that. Thank you for telling me that. This is what I need to do. The opposite. I don't want your outcome. No disrespect. I don't want your outcome. I gotta do the opposite. I gotta do different. I gotta think, why are you thinking like this and where it's gotten you? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna analyze. I'm gonna question the logic. You working, you got a nice place to stay. You got a nice car, but I'm gonna analyze. You working two jobs. You always talking about money. You trying to go on vacation. You spinning your wheels. And you got all that shit. I'm gonna be like, that nigga in the Bible, man, I'm giving up all my shit, man. I'm chasing greatness, nigga, fuck some shit. I got all kind of shit. I'm embarrassed now. That's my perspective, I'm giving it to you. You probably still gonna buy some new shit tomorrow. I'm embarrassed of all the shit I have. I want wisdom, knowledge, understanding, longevity, something that's gonna be here forever, man. That shit ain't nothing. I'm going to give it all up. You're going to see. I'm going to record that shit. And I'm going to give you the mindset. Tell you why I'm doing it. How I'm doing it. We're going to get through this shit together, man. You're not by yourself, man. Be chasing greatness. If you're chasing greatness, 
international gang, if y'all chasing greatness, man, like this video right now, bro. Because we on the same wavelength right now. Chase greatness, man. Don't chase women. It's not all about money. Money ain't everything, bro. And I, I, I just stamped that. I said it, so I meant it. Money ain't everything, bro. You got to have something that's worth more than money. Because that's what's going to last forever. Niggas make songs and rap and shit like that. Don't own the masters to that shit or nothing like that. They don't, they're not going to make royalties off that shit. You get a contract to produce content, content going to be around forever, bro. You might be 20 years from now, people might be still viewing your shit. Now you got 100 million views. Motherfucker going to see that. They're going to be like, damn, I need to create a video. We already on that. We are well, well aware, we're conscious of what's going on. We have an understanding. It's not, we're not going to think slow. We use our brain to motherfucking, for greatness. We don't, we're not easily distracted. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than just paying your bills. And I'm good. I got my check now. I'm good. Shit, we good. What's the plan? Panic, nigga. Panic. Motherfucker, panic. You don't have a plan. You didn't think about that? Damn, I'm thinking, fuck, I don't got a plan. Panic, nigga, that's the normal reaction. You waking up, bro, wake up. Make a plan, write some shit down. And have fucking discipline. Do something. You can't just sit around and not do nothing, bro, and think, God gonna bring me some, shit, that bread got shit. You know, God gonna bring an income tax and he gonna make a way. Faith without works is dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm religious too, I grew up in the church too. But I understand that. You gotta actually get out here and try, bro. A motherfucker that I, that you work with, once you start get great, gaining this business mindset, they gonna start talking to you about shit. You gonna be like, damn, that's crazy. I probably used to think like that before I got understanding. Now, they talking to you about vacations and shit, and you talking about business. Cause that's what matters, business. Get your mind right. Stop just working and spending all your money. Figure something out, bro. We're gonna figure it out together, bro. We're gonna get this shit right. We're gonna create, though, in the process. So you can see why we're doing this in the in the end. You're gonna see why we're creating. Because that was the whole purpose in the first place, was to create. The only people that's just super duper rich created something. That's they hit the lottery. They created something. Started something, created a business, a, a brand, or something. Because the majority of people are gonna consume. Majority of people have the consumer mindset. The majority of people have the consumer mindset. They're gonna just keep consuming, bro. And then next thing you know, they're gonna be 60, still up at the job, waiting on that check. It's gonna be all right. God got a plan. He got me. It's gonna be all right. It's not gonna be all right. Panic with me, y'all. Panic with me real quick. Let's think about this shit. Let's think about this shit. How can we be great? How can we chase greatness? Let's not think this year. Let's not think this year. Let's think 10 years from now. Let's do crypto. Let's think. I'm having. I'm having ideas, man. I'm giving it to you. Crypto, stocks. Stop, you know what I'm saying? Use credit for good and not for bad. Use your credit. Build your credit. You know what I'm saying? Use your mind. Stop being a consumer. When you get some money, think, how can I flip this shit, man? How can I make this some more money? How much money do I have to get in order to make it some more money? That's why I sold cars. I sell cars. I know that, right? I buy and sell cars. It's niggas that have way more than me looking at me saying, damn, I need some game from that young nigga. I, that nigga just doing, doing all kind of shit. I'm trying to gain knowledge, perspective. I don't just think, man, I need some bands to go get a car. Nah, I told, I told cuz, I say, bro, think about this though. What if you, what if you, what if you buy a car, right? You get that bitch, boom. Cause I buy and sell cars. Of course I'm gonna help him get a car from the auction. So why don't you get that car and then stack your bread up and get another car and then flip that car Say you get it for a thousand, I'm gonna help you flip it for seventeen hundred. Take that seventeen hundred, put it in the car you bought. Take that thousand and get another car. 
do it again. So without you working your job, you got even more motion. You're using your brain. You're using that money for more money. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the new Jordans. I got shoes to the ceiling. To the ceiling, from the floor to the ceiling. I'm gonna sell them all. Y'all want some shoes? Sell them. Fuck some shoes. Motherfuckers hurt my feet. Can you believe it? Crazy shit. I'm embarrassed. $900 shoes, $600 shoes, $500 shoes. All through the house. All everywhere. Crazy. I went through a phase where I thought that meant something. This nigga got all these shoes. He must be doing good. <sighs> Little did I know, if I had this type of understanding, that money would have been. <sighs> Think about it. If I had this type of understanding when I was buying all them goddamn shoes, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Ten dollar shoe. Crazy. You know what I'm yeah, but it took me running through all that money, blowing a lot of money to have this type of understanding. So a motherfucker that work check to check, they're not going to have the understanding I have. I'm giving you 10 years of game. I'm giving you 10 layers of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you 10 layers of knowledge. I had to go through it to be able to talk about it, bro. I'm not just talking out my ass. People really watching me. I, the pressure is on me. You feel what I'm saying? The pressure is on me, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers watching me, doing what I do. Adopting my mindset. Taking my ideas. And that's what I'm here for, man. I don't wanna, I don't, I'm a humble. You know how humble you have to be? You have to be incredibly humble and understand what's going on and the greater good, the greater purpose. It's a bigger thing. It's not about me. I'm just a tool, a vessel, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk to you, give you game, you're gonna listen, you're gonna understand. And if you know me or if you follow my social media, then you see, okay, all right, damn, this nigga traveling, this nigga doing this, this nigga doing that. It ain't about that shit though, you know what I'm saying? If you could only see what I seen through my two eyes, That'd be crazy, but you can't see it. I can talk about it, I can tell you. You have an understanding. If I explain, you can have an understanding. A lot of people that had more than me and better understanding than me, but they ain't gonna record it. So we gonna give you this understanding, this perspective. Uh, we gonna talk to people get their perspective, but no, so, you know, you know, you're talking to a nigga that's seasoned. About the engineering you see what I'm saying? I started this shit. I'm gonna finish this shit. Pressure's on me. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm gonna do what niggas is not willing to do. Sacrifice is my middle name. I'm telling you what's real, bro. I'm not just telling you some bullshit, bro. I done been there and done that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Most of the niggas I know, they done touched a bunch of money, sell drugs. Majority of people I know, Zombies. Zombies. Niggas I know that's just really getting it, but they, even the niggas that's getting it, getting the money, zombies. So they watching me. Respect. I'm not trying to sound, you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know. It's an understanding behind all this shit. I'm here for this, though. I'm here for this. I'm giving it to you. All walks of life can get this game, bro. I got game for you, bro. Don't go through life just lost, bro. You know, spinning your wheels, bro. It's gonna take you, you know what I'm saying? These old niggas out here, they fucked up, bro. And they not gonna come back and say, look, bro, I fucked up, bro, but you can be different. You can change. I done went through all this shit, but I can give you some game. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what this is. Nigga done been through a bunch of shit, business shit, trials and tribulations up and down, seen a lot. And I'm giving you my perspective, man. I hope y'all fuck with me, man. Rock to this video, man. We gonna keep going, keep giving knowledge. It ain't gonna be just one time I'm here and I'm out. Consistency is the key. All right, y'all.